Welcome back to Ansible's everyone. So I'm going to go to you guys in the S&P 500 again. This is the spot. As you guys can see, we did have consolidation on Thursday. We did have a pullback on Friday and then we did have a rally into close. And our question was, where are we going to break above our consolidation that we had from our pullback on Thursday? Where are we going to continue on higher? As you guys can see, we did continue on higher. We came back and we did test that level and then we continued on higher here in the market. I mentioned that we were testing that level exactly here at 390 and we did continue on higher. And so the question will be if we're going to hold this strength going into tomorrow as we do have Powell speaking and then we do have Fed minutes on Wednesday. So are we going to continue on higher here or are we going to continue on lower? I'm going to go over all this with you guys. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates every single day that I mentioned throughout the week. Now, if you are a day trader or you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts, we mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day, about two and a half hours before market open every single day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout like this again so let's jump into this one So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spot, as you guys can see, we have been tracking the upper end of our channel and the lower end of our channel. We did mention on Friday that we had a hammer candle coming out, showing us that we were going to continue on a bounce possibly. And as you guys can see going into today, we did continue on on that bounce. Again, this hammer candle very much shows a large rejection of sellers to the downside and a stronger push from buyers to the upside. Now, that does not necessarily mean that we're going to test the upper end of our channel. Still, we do have Powell speaking tomorrow. Um, we did have Fed Bostic today mentioning that he would be willing to raise rates, but he also mentioned a couple weeks ago that we would be possibly decreasing rates by September. So we'll see exactly what Powell has to say going into tomorrow. Again, Powell very much has the better say on what may happen. So that's why we do keep Powell on the watch compared to most other Feds. So back to our hammer candle again, a very nice bounce that we had on the lower end of our channel. As you guys can see, we had our white shaded line that we were looking for on our MACD to symbol that we were going to possibly shift in momentum. As you guys can see in our email lines, we are now pointing up one more time. We need a cross here to give us our confirmation on a continuation on this bounce. And as you guys can see, as we are getting close to our EMI lines crossing, we do have Powell speaking tomorrow. So in my opinion, this is very much predicated on what Powell has to say. If he mentions anything additional to what he mentioned previously about possible increases in rates that he didn't mention before, or possibly increases in balance sheet runoffs, which he did mention that we would do in June's meeting, but did not mention anything about increasing balance sheet runoffs anytime sooner than that. So we will see exactly what his tone is tomorrow, what exactly he has to say. And then we do have Fed Minutes data coming out on Wednesday. So that very much will predicate exactly how we do bounce back in the market if we do have a continuation on down or if we do actually cross here with these email lines to give us more confirmation on the bounce. Now, also looking at our relative strength, as you guys can see, again, this is our RSI. As you guys can see previously, we did mention that we need to break above our double top that we had here on our continuation on down previously. Now, we have to consider that Powell did get rejected for the last couple times that he did speak. So if we do get a hawkish Powell and a very hawkish Powell, then we could get rejected below our 20 moving average and possibly come back down and retest the lower end of our channel. And also, Fed minutes coming on a Wednesday. We'll see exactly how the market reacts here. So what we're looking for here is to see if our email lines do cross here and we do get some buy pressure coming in showing us that we do have more confirmation on a bounce. But ultimately, we do want our email lines to eventually cross back over our MACD, again, the median of our MACD to show us that we are having stronger strength to the upside rather than just sitting on a bounce. So again, that very much will be on watch if we do cross on our email lines. And looking at our Bollinger Band, again, this is representing compression and decompression. As you guys can see, we are still pointing lower. We do want to see if we can start to curl back up. And in my opinion, that very much will be predicated on what Powell has to say tomorrow and how we react to Fed minutes if we do start to consolidate within our Bollinger Band to give us more confirmation on this bounce and jump back over our 20 to moving average ultimately to get more confirmation that we are trying to find a bottom so that way we could test the upper end of our channel. So going into tomorrow on the SPY, I want to see exactly how we hold 390. Again, we did continue on higher as we bounced off of 390, which was our continuation sell off that we had from Thursday last week. We want to see how we hold 390. And if we do continue on below 390, we want to see if we can hold 380 if we can get a bounce again on the lower end of our channel or if we do continue on below our channel here. And as far as the upside, again, just looking to see if we can get back over 405. We have our 408 level that we did get rejected from when Powell previously spoke. So we want to see if we can jump back over 405, jump back over 408, and then jump back over 415, which was our previous doji candle that we did get rejected and continued on lower from. So again, just keeping our levels on watch. And then we also have our channel here that we could be following to see if we are going to have more confirmation on this bounce. As you guys can see, again, we got a green candle coming in, um, but very rightfully uh, testing the upper end of this channel. Um, as we are leading into Powell, because again, tomorrow with Powell, a lot can happen going to tomorrow and with Feminence on Wednesday, very much moving exactly how it should be, in my opinion. 
Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader or you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts, most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. Again, major breakouts like we had today with CBIO and GOVX. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout like today again. And again, all of you instables that have been coming over every single day and supporting the channel, I appreciate every one of you guys. We're going to continue to go at it. Stay patient. Take what the market gives us. Very nice breakouts today. I hope you guys did catch any of them today. And again, if you guys are not in the comment section already, go in the comment section, ask any questions you guys would like. I love talking to you guys. Look forward to talking to you guys. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.